often people will, re will recognize that I'm quite young at my at the current stage of my job, and will wonder how um, I came into government and knew that I wanted to work for government very early. And it's funny because I, I run some courses and one of the intros I always ask people with, whether they're students or um, city staff, you know, who here uh, grew up wanting to work for government, thinking that this was going to be their career and no one ever puts up their hand. Everyone, it's always often kind of a fluke or, you know, they knew someone who, who was working there and so they applied or maybe it was the only job that was available at the time or it was kind of this unknown industry um, that they somehow managed to kind of fall into. Whereas, like I knew very early from grade 11, I had an amazing social studies uh, teacher who was absolutely fantastic and focused on Canadian politics and I just got totally immersed in it and specialized like my whole life. Like I, everything, every, all nine years of my education are all focused on local government administration and I, I just love it and feel passionate about it and it's so neat. Like I, I worked on the activist side for a while and you think when you become something like a corporate officer, you have to be nonpartisan, that you lose your ability to influence government and, and to be um, making a change or having your voice in government. But from the corporate officer side, what interests me the most was that my role was to ensure accountability and transparency, and I can't think of a more effective way of ensuring proper democratic processes and the government is doing the things that it promises to do for us on a daily basis. So, you know, I may not be able to write an angry letters to my local politicians or post on Facebook around election time who I'm voting for and things like that, but I hold them accountable in a very different way, which is, you know, through legislation and through practices in the workplace that are on a daily basis. So, you know, like that was a really big thing for me. And now when I do presentations for university students or even internally to city staff, I talk about that, that just because you work for government doesn't mean you've lost your voice. It just means you found a different way of communicating your message and being involved. And even though you may not be able to say specifically who you're supporting, um, you can make sure that everyone is treated fairly and has the same access and rights as everybody else. And that's really what the democratic process is all about. So it may sound boring to most, uh, going from, you know, maybe a picket line or a rally to legislation and freedom of information and Robert's Rules of Order, but it, it's really just a different mechanism for achieving the same outcomes, which is the integrity of the institution and the trust in, um, you know, the public sector.